Downward sailing. Eddie's got lifted up. John Quick. Set between the hulls. So the back sheet disconnected from there. And the whole rig has just turned around and now it's sheeted down to here. We've been running for, I don't know, about 10 minutes now. And uh, we are holding a steady northwest. We're doing uh, around 310. So we go up, we go down, we go up, we go down between 300 and 320 maximum but I believe the wind is veering over here because we're really close to land and the wind is shifting at the moment it's about early afternoon so uh, boat's landing on course and it, it doesn't move off course it stays it stays on course if it moves down suddenly it slowly slowly comes back up and uh, that means that I believe the wind is shifting not that uh, the boat is losing course so really good for running if uh, some type of a, a wind vane could be I could come up with something to have the skull in the water and something to slightly control it uh, probably run down perfectly straight but at the moment I don't think we'll move in of course I mean like the scenery has been on the left and it's still on the left and we're running it yeah, yeah we're 300 we're still on 300 bang on so that's a little bit of a Black Sea wave that just came to visit us. But we're landing perfectly well. Okay, gonna head south. There we are, South Black Sea. Laws and nets in front of us. Kit and slightly to the north. And uh, make a break, running downwind. Balkan Shipyards. Welcome to Balkan Shipyards, guys. Uh, in the Balkans is Boyko the Bentley Boyko Bentley 2 that's his name in Bulgaria and he has the Havaya 30 Pro 1 Force 213 um, so this is the Vaka that's the model I won't go over this because uh, you, uh, you must know this by now and uh, I'll go over the Lipoid heavy big maybe Maybe absurdly humongous, but so then it's pop plus. So I made it as light as I can. I made a lot of trusses inside and stuff in previous videos. You'll see them, but I get I mean, like okay, a box of matches. I need a box of matches. Give me a second on this. He has a box in my pocket, so you can watch the boat for a minute. I'll take the box out. There's Mask Varna girl. Uh, she watched the build from start to end there's a pentagram because the force is strong uh, and in here the box of matches is waterline roughly okay it's close so that means the boat is saved the boat is deep in already okay and the angle of attack is the best in the west so then, let's see what happens. Okay, so here's the armor. Uh, that, oh, I love that. Sometimes that gets a beating. You know why? Because if you, if you, if you have angers inside you, I have some, they come out, then, then it's good you take a sack and you bash the shit out of it. It might help, okay? There's a, uh, his why not, uh, his, I'm a why not, and a shit canoe that I built that I was afraid to go out in with, so I went out in him only once, it was an open canoe of only the blue at the bottom. 
it had seats at the at the two thirds of the height of it. Okay, somewhere there. It was frightening to paddle this thing. It was going to capsize every minute. You couldn't breathe. And Genia's on the back, and Genia can't swim, and Genia won't wear life jackets and that stuff. So, like, Genia is a, is a seagull from the old times of the English uh, uh, maritime uh, history, blah, 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 when most of them couldn't even swim, you know. So, it saved the ship. So, Genia's like that. Uh, that's my little station. That's my, there's nothing she has mine, only the portable stuff is mine. There's all the parts of. Uh, of make or break, which is the shit canoe that I was afraid to get out in, but then I didn't like why not. He, he, you couldn't load him. If you check out why not, you'll see that he's, he's very fine at the water. Why, why not was a very fast boat, but I had to be alone without gear and I had to have nice conditions. The boat would go. It was a fast boat. These people would mention it on the beach. Sailors would come up to me. So, yeah, I was watching you, man. You're fast. So I've got a yacht here, I've got to do this, uh, la, la. so then this, so the shit canoe worked out to be the best in the West, all by mistake, because there are no mistakes. So then what happened was, I was uh, kind of, I said I need more volume kind of, and then I said, I don't like why not, I just didn't like him, he was, he was, excuse me, he was too Western. If you get it or you don't get it, it I don't care, it just don't matter to me, okay, but too Western means, Plum bows, long water lines, usually Bermuda rigged, uh, fine for speed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, yeah, all good, but what do you want to do? And why most of you guys don't do nothing with your Western concept pros? Well, as I've done a fair share, I believe, I've been out in this boat over here in 4.6's piece of cake. I was coming in in a 4.6 that to me looked like it was a very strong 6, it might have been approaching a 7, when later on half a city fell down. That was 22, autumn, the storm in Bulgas that, that broke all the trees and all the roofs. I was coming in to Talevo in the same thing, but it was north of me. Okay? And I was early on it. Okay, but I was I was looking to windward, working this boat hard to get back into port because it's blowing exactly out, and I exactly have to go against it. This boat, there's no piece of cake. You don't mind if you don't mind getting wet. This boat will take you anywhere you want, and it has done it before. And I like this boat very much, and I trust it full blast, and I don't care. So then I'm doing the same concept. So this is long water line. So this is a drawer. Because Drewers are, they're the Bentleys of the Pacific. And that's how Boyko Marco became a Bentley. Because I went into, from Pacific Pros, I changed thinking into Drewers. I prefer Drewers. You can prefer whatever you want. And I'm happy for you too. Because, I mean, it's, what do you want to do with your boat is the question. And did you buy the right boat for yourself is the answer. And if those two don't come together and I don't care, you will never like, you will never sail. You'll never enjoy, you'll never nothing. So if you want a fast boat and you're going out only two weekends a year to race around or stuff, then you build it that way. I understand. And I agree. If that boat fits you, good for you. If you were thinking you're going to cruise on the Pacific, going down to the Pacific with a boat like that, yes and no. You understand? Can be done. Gisela did it. Lust Brown, I mean like fuck yeah man. I mean Gisela is a kick ass boat and so is Lust. So so good on it. And I'm happy they're around because we learned a lot from them too, eh? So then uh, that's... Uh, so then I'm yellow at the bottom, okay? That's the dagger. That thing's longer than me. It's a huge dagger. It's 1 meter, 80 by 60, 50, I don't know, 50, maybe 60. So the top gets blue and the bottom gets that. Whereas the old, my old dagger on this one, on make or break, it's, uh, it's blue all the way. And you can't see how deep it is. So now it gets yellow at the bottom, which is the Balkan style, and then the blue on the top. Here's the arm. I'm not happy with this. I want more bracing, as I'm kind of afraid that my aqua horns will fly away in a Force 19. So I don't like, I like that a lot. I don't like that I don't have it here. Over there, I did it only one side, and that's only plywood. Okay, that's why not armor. 
So anyway, there's a lot to do, guys. Welcome to Balkan Shipyard. If you want to stay, you can stay. If you don't want to stay, you can go. It's all good. Uh, going sailing next year sometime. And going to be roofing and going to be working. And this is me and this is what I am and this is what I do. And uh, I wish you the same too. All the best. Balkan Shipyards. Keep shunting, guys. The force is strong.